Motor City Sports Talk wanted to uh, fit another video in. I'll probably fit a couple more in today. Um, yeah. Talking about the Lions, and the Lions had a deal in place. Whatever the deal was is unknown to acquire Rob Gronkowski this offseason. We talked about it this offseason. We talked about the failed deal. And let me give you a little bit of update if you don't know it. Um, the Lions were going to trade for Rob Gronkowski. To Gronkowski said he would never play in Detroit. He only wanted to play for Tom Brady. He uh, he backed that story up and said he was going to retire if traded to Detroit. It became a kind of a mid-major type of story the week when the Lions beat the Patriots uh, Sunday night this year. And let me say this: <laughs> if they would, if the if Rob Gronkowski did not ask that deal. That would have been one of the worst moves in Detroit Lions history. I mean, this move, depending on how how much they gave up, and I'm thinking they probably gave up a two or three or some uh, some along those lines to get uh, Rob Gronkowski. Rob Gronkowski looks piss poor, terrible this year. I mean, Rob Gronkowski feel like he he actually is playing like he got traded to Detroit against his will. His body is so broken down. And the Patriots tried to get a fat and tried to get over. They was going to uh, whoop de blam Bob Quinn, Matt Patricia, and this Detroit Lions organization. They were basically selling them a, a car with, with with a with a half dead motor in it. All right, you know the car was going to be able to you know kind of get you through through the rest of the the fall. But as soon as the winter hit and it got cold, that car was it was dead. And that's that's what Rob Gronkowski is. Gronkowski is so broken up at this point. And he came into the league with a back injury. Um, you know, he came to the league with, a, with, a, with an injury history out of what, Arizona? I think he went to Arizona State, one of the two, or wherever he went to school. And uh, he, he, I think he fell to like the second round, the third round. I think it was the second. And, you know, this would have definitely been a nightcap on a terrible season. Gronkowski broken up week 11 or whatever week we're going into. I think it's week 11 that Gronkowski hasn't produced nada. Jack crap this season, and that would have been another story on you know Matt Patricia's head. That's exactly what it have been. Well, what is about Gronkowski health? It was another uh uh um 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 Stafford um um Patricia um um um. That's what you would have been getting. Bob Quinn sitting there looking emotionless. You know, it had been another terrible terrible situation for the Lions. Okay, and they're already dealing with situations of Eric Ebron, okay. You know, Eric Ebron is looking pretty good over with the Indianapolis Colts after having a couple of drop balls early on. He's dropping balls. Don't let that don't let that don't let that fool you. He's dropping balls, but he's making a lot more plays because they utilize him the right way. And Jim Bob Cooter has no idea how to utilize the tight end. Luke Wilson produced with Seattle because they knew how to use his long speed. And Jim Bob Cooter's Offensive design for a tight end is no design. You know, it's no custom fit. It's no, it's no tweaking. Look here, you're gonna run a drag route. You're gonna run a shallow crossing route, and you're gonna run a flat route while the quarterback bootleg out in the play action. That's it. That's it. In the in the, in the red zone, they get they do a a, a a corner route. You know, they do some some, some funky things in, in the end zone. Rob Gronkowski healthy probably would have legitimately struggled in this offense. Due to Jim Bob Cooter's lack of imagination with the quarterback, with the uh, tight end. I mean, he's a very incompetent offensive coordinator. Um, very basic. Same as Scott Linehan with, in the Dallas Cowboys. He was here in Detroit. Okay. They're va- very, very old school, prehistoric offensive coordinators. They're very old, line up Z, line up X, whatever, in the same position. No, no flavors, no misdirections, no Sean McVay. Rub routes. They're very, very prehistoric in their offensive approach. And on top of that, on top of that, you know, Rob Gronkowski would have been running routes at half speed and half strength. On top of that, he really, really he, he probably really, really would have got injured already and been out for the entire season. Now he's injured in, in, in Green in uh in, in New England. You know, so that would have been a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, they would have lost a draft pick or two dealing with Rob Gronkowski. Um, and obviously, that was a blessing in disguise because that would have been another question Bob Quinn would have had to answer when he finally does talk at the end of the season. 
to ask about, ask about Rob Gronkowski. And that's what Detroit is known for. Detroit is known for trading or acquiring somehow old and washed up players. Allen Iverson came here. You had um, you had um, an older Nate Burleson came here. You had you had several several type of players that came here. Okay, you know um, Chris Webber was older and washed up when he came here, so that's what they do. I'm glad I'm I'm glad that deal didn't happen. I just wanted to speak on that, and I'll be back with some more probably Lions content. I'm gonna keep it pumping. I'm gonna keep it consistent. Um, but let me know what y'all think. I know everybody's saying we dodged the bullet. Gronkowski's been terrible this year. You know, he been running like a piano on his back this year. They talking about Josh Gordon, Shea Sharp. Shannon Sharp talking about Josh Gordon like he running with a piano on his back. Rob Gronkowski like he running with a piano on his back. Slow, you know, just hurting. You know, I think Rob Gronkowski is facing retirement this year. Seriously. I think it's time for him to retire. I'm glad he's going to retire as a Patriot and not retire as a Lion. Because that would have been a terrible scenario. But it's Motor Street Sports Talk. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All those links in the description. We also want to make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description as well. Salute to those people that do do that. And uh, do me one better. Share the videos all across social media. Retweet them out. Share them on Instagram. Y'all know what the business is. Motor Street Sports Talk. CJ Goodfellow. We gone.